Hello, this is a fairly short video and we're going to talk about the extraction of metals and reduction. Now, as you know, metals have very many, many uses. You're probably sitting or standing there somewhere and you're not going to be very far from a whole range of metals at all. So we have many, many uses and where are they found? Well, mostly they are found in these types of rock called ores and in the ore it's usually found as the metal oxide. So one example of this which is commonly used is iron oxide. There we go, iron oxide. Now we're going to take a brief look at how iron oxide is converted into iron. So here's a diagram of some iron ore. It's quite powdery, um, but this is not iron ore, sorry, iron oxide that's extracted from the ore. And in order to get the iron, all we need to do is to remove the oxide or the oxygen from the iron oxide. And that leaves us with the iron metal which then can be used for a whole variety of different things. Now, this process can be used for extracting a whole bunch of different metals, but the main thing is that oxygen is removed by reacting the iron oxide with carbon. And we could take a look at under what circumstances that actually happens. So here I've got a bunch of metals, uh, just a few examples uh, that you might see on the spec and you might be familiar with. But as you know, we can put these in an order of reactivity, the least reactive at the bottom and the most reactive at the top. And actually, we can sometimes put carbon in this reactivity series as well. The gold is very unreactive. There's no process needed to extract it. However, these metals here, we need to react the metal oxide with carbon in order to get the metal. If we go above carbon in the reactivity series, well, we can't react the metal oxide with carbon. We need to use a different process, and that process is electrolysis. Okay, so that's the key thing. The metals must be less reactive than carbon if they're going to be extracted from the metal oxide. So let's take a look at a slight more amount of detail in terms of the iron oxide. Here we've got our reactivity series on the left which we've used in a previous video. We've got gold at the bottom and as we know that's very unreactive and we call that native or we say it's found native. In other words there's no process needed to extract it. But here we have iron oxide. So that's Fe2O3 and that is reacted with carbon in the form of carbon monoxide. So there's a whole bunch of steps to get us here which we don't really need to know about but the key point here is we've got iron oxide reacting with carbon in carbon monoxide. You might want to pause here to practice balancing but if not we must balance the equation of course. So there's our balanced equation and the key point here is that we have what's called reduction. Now in chemistry when we, talk, when we, when we use the word reduction it means the removal of oxygen by a chemical reaction. So that's an important key word. Now, in our equation here, what's being reduced? Well, if you look at the iron oxide, it becomes iron as a result of this chemical reaction. So it's the iron oxide that is reduced. In other words, that's the compound that's had oxygen removed from it. Our carbon monoxide, as you can see, becomes carbon dioxide. So that has had an oxygen atom added to the molecule. So we say that has been oxidized. So in this example, we have both oxidation and reduction and that's needed in order to produce the metal iron, which is the one being produced in this example. Okay, so that's uh, our overview of extraction of metals and reduction. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon.